<coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And selamat hari raya to uh, Sezaino okay. So we are from group 5 uh, And I, Muhammad Akmal Anis Are going to present the introduction part Firstly, okay, about OSHA About our assignment OSHA is the Occupational, occupational Safety and Health Administration better known as OSHA. It was created under the Occupational Safety and Health Act, Health Act of 1970. The objective of this law was to set standard for the maintenance of job site safety. These standards are intended by the government, by the government itself, to increase employee health and safety and enforce the law partially through job site inspection. Okay. Next is our team members or our crew. Okay, firstly is Shafiq, Sarun, Shafiq Afandi bin Saruni. He is the leader for our group, group number 5. And next is me myself, which is Muhammad Akmanis bin Marzali. And after that is Muhammad Ilman bin Yusri, Muhammad Haris bin Razak, and lastly Amri bin Yusof. Okay, so we are going to talk about the company background which is we choose. Okay, we choose Petronas as our company for investigating assignment. Petroleum National Berhad, its original name. Uh, in English, it is National Petroleum Limited, commonly referred to as Petronas. Petronas is a Malaysian oil and gas company established in 1974 and entirely owned by the government of Malaysia itself. Uh, so, Petronas is entrusted with all of Malaysia oil and gas resource and is also responsible for developing and adding value to petroleum resources. Petronas is also ranked among Fortune Global's 500 largest corporation in the world, which is quite amazing. Okay, next is Petronas policy. Pet the Petronas Health, Health, Safety and Environment HSE, policy sets out the company commitment to safeguarding the safety of individuals, resource, and the environment. All health, safety, and environment HSE risks across the business are managed through strict adherence to prevail regulatory environment. Based on Petronas HSE Mandatory Control Framework, MCF, Petronas Technical Standard, and the HSE Management System, HSEMS. Next is Petronas ISO. Petronas also subscribe to ISO 9100 Quality Management System, ISO 14001 Environment Management Safety System, and ISO 18001 Occupational Health and Safety Management System in order to ensure health, safety, and, envir and working environment in workplace. The company Petronas itself also apply Petronas Zero Tolerance Rule, which is ZETO, in short, to all of their employees as well as their third-party services partner to protect people from any harm. This is Zeto rules. Uh, Zeto rule that is implemented by Petronas itself. The number one is work with a valid work permit. Then verify energy isolation before starting work. Obtain authorization before overriding or disabling safety critical equipment. Obtain authorization before entering a confined space. Protect yourself against a fall when working at high. Use the correct PPE equipment. Obtain authorization before excavation or entering a trench. Do not position yourself under a suspended load because it is dangerous. Do not smoke outside this sanitary area or bring potential ignition source. Do not use your mobile phone while working. Okay, that's all. And okay, this is some other point which is how we conduct our assignment. We conduct our assignment online because of COVID-19, right? COVID-19 pandemic. So, we all do our job, do our task, and divide our task online with Google Meet as our source. And sometimes we also use WhatsApp video call for ease of use. And for our company location, as we all know, Petronas is spread throughout Malaysia. Uh, so, the location is everywhere in Malaysia. Okay. So, I guess that, that is all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. The this is the part for the facilities of for occupational 
safety and health facilities for OSHA that exist and or should exist at workplace. This is the description of facilities. Good facilities that are established safe perimeter at least six feet, hazard signage, scaffold, inspection, tag detail, the equipment, condition, then help ensure regular inspection. Washing facilities must be suitable and sufficient, keep safe, keep keep clean and orderly. Lavatory and lavatory and sanitary should be suitable and sufficient, ventilated, lit and keep in clean and orderly condition. Changing room should be readily accessible or directly to washing facilities. Drinking water, bottle water dispenser as a secondary supply are acceptable. Resting area, restroom or rest area equipped with table and sitting with back that are adequate for the number of people who are, who are likely to use them at any time are required. This is the relevant and relevant act and regulation. Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994, date of coming into operation 24 February 1994. Factory Machinery Act 1967, Act 139, date of coming into operation 1 February 1970. Petroleum Safety Measure Act 1984, Act 302, date of coming into operation 1 March 1985. This is for the safety equipment, personal protective equipment, respiration, respiratory protection, disposable mask, hearing protection, ear mark or ear plug, hand protection, glove, heat protection, safety helmet, eye protection, spectacles, foot protection, safety shoes or boots, skin protection, long sleeve jacket or sunburn cream. This is for the type of hazard that may occur and how to avoid. This is the physical hazard. Physical hazard, we do have activity, hazard, possible kind of accident, prevent procedure, tool equipment, and causing cases. This is for the mechanical hazard. Mechanical hazard is workers exposed to injuries that make suffering loss as part of body. Then we have the possible accident, prevent procedure also. The workers need to follow the SOP, tool, and equipment, glove, and hazard sticker. Consequences, safety and health practice can be applied. This is for the electrical hazard. Activity personnel are considered as high voltage industry. Hazard high possibility that worker may be electrocut. Possibility incident <coughs> may, may lose part of the body or possibility to die. Pre <coughs> prevent worker need to follow the procedure SOP. Tool and equipment cover our uniform safety board. Consequences apply safety and health. For the chemical hazard, petroleum industry. Workers are exposed in chemical hazard in workplace. Hazard activity in workplace produce hazardous gas. Gas. Possible accident. Worker may be feel dizziness or headache. Prevent procedure. The worker need to wear PPE on the workstation. Total equipment cover uniform, gloves and mask. Consequences: Health monitoring required by doing the medical checkup twice per year. For the last one, this is the biological hazard. Activity that are the living things such as microorganisms, virus, toxin that can affect the human health, hazard exposure to airborne disease, etc. Possible accident, infection such as cold, sneeze, and direct contact can affect the worker's health. Prevent procedure, design and build good ventilation system. Tool and equipment, mask, vaccine, and other medical supply consequences. Ask the worker to do medical treatment if there are any symptoms of spread disease. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Ilman. There are five types of hazards. Okay, number one is uh, mechanical, ha physical hazards. Number two is mechanical hazards. Number three, electric hazards. Number four, chemical hazards. Number five is biological hazard. Physical hazard. There are many major words involved with physical words such as lifting, standing, and many more. There are also non-contact hazards that can affect the workers physically such as noise and vibration. Workers are exposed to injuries when doing the physical work and also exposed to noise that may affect hearing system. Okay? Possible accident. Physical injuries such as lower back, pain, handcuffs and eardrum may be broken because exposed to high noise level. Okay, how to prevent? Number one is, the workers need to work with the SOP that be made for physical works. The workers need to use PPE to protect from the hazards. What is PPE? Personal protect, protection equipment.
Number two is machine maintenance need to be done to be done prevent the machine produce loud sounds. Number two, mechanical hazards. There are many mechanical parts in this company production lines. Okay, you can see here that uh, workers are exposed to injuries that can make their suffering from losses of parts of body such as fingers and hands. Okay, possible accident, loss part of body as the part of the machine produce high forces. Okay, how to prevent? Number one is follow the SOP meant for the machine. Follow the standard of procedure. And number two, the hazards stickers have been put on the dress part of machine in order to remind the workers. Okay. Next is electrical hazard. Okay, petroleum, petroleum industries are categorized as high voltage area as the industry need to use high electric usage in order to run their production. Okay. Like Betonites are considered as high voltage industry. Okay. So the hazard is uh, the high possibility that workers may be electrocut. And yeah, it can lose parts of body and possibility or die due to the high voltage. How to prevent? How to, number one is follow the SOP, the standard of procedure. They have been made uh, on working on the machine. SOP is very important when you working in the industry. Number two is workers need to use PPE to protect themselves for from unexpected accidents to prevent them from unexpected accidents. Okay. Number two is the caution sticker will be put in the part of room that have high electricity flow. The next one is chemical hazard. Industry workers may be exposed to hazardous gases such as hydrogen sulfide and hydrocarbon. Activities on the workplace produce hazardous gases and can affect the workers' skin and respir respiration systems. Okay, they, they may feel dizziness, drowsiness, headaches, and sensitization. How to prevent? The workers need to wear PPE on the workstation and follow the SOP when working on the workstation that have high possibility of chemical hazards. Lastly is bio biological hazard. What is biological hazard? It's a biological substance that can pose a strain to the head living on organism, especially human beings. Example is virus or toxin. Okay. Okay. The hazard is uh, it can exposure to airborne disease and the infection such as cough and sneeze and direct contact can affect the workers' health. How to prevent? Number one is design and build good ventilation system. Number two is always wear a mask when you are not well. Number two is always keep good personal. Okay, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. I am Muhammad Haris Miraza. So, I would like to continue to present about the procedures and activities need to be carried out in the event of an incident that has occurred. So, this is five main steps. Firstly, determine if there is death, dangerous event, poisoning, sickness, or injury that might have occurred in that area. And then, create the case was job related that arose from a workplace incident or exposure and then decide the category of the incident. Number four, based on the category of the incident, the incident should be notified by using an appropriate form which can be obtained from DOSH website. Finally, in the situation is suicide, severe physical harm or dangerous incident, promptly inform the case by the fastest means. Within seven days, submit a written account Using form JKKP 6 along with another case record in form JKKP 8 together. So what we need to do? Firstly, the place must be cleared after an incident or unsafe incident scene has occurred. Next, unauthorized workers are not permitted to access or interact with anything that may be viewed as evidence. Next step, which is notifying the authority of the incident, there are a total of three forms, which is JKKP 6, 7, and 8, 
each form have different purpose which is for six and seven form relating to accident and hazardous incident reporting as well as workplace poisoning and occupational disease for eight provide as the registry of industrial incident and safe occupational contamination and illness it summarizes the report of workplace incident and news and submit by employer so this is the flowchart of emergency procedures and more details so this is the flowchart of emergency notification so this is the chemical spill flowchart is the spill minor or major so if minor this is the step that we need to do and if it is major this is the step so this is how that a person can claim the insurance so once the claim received it is either claim from member of the public or the claim from the employee lastly this is a flowchart of work related incident or injury that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Amri bin so and i'll be presenting uh, the osh management system uh, osh is stand for occupational safety and health management system is a systematic and organized uh, approach to health and safety risk management uh, OHSM as uh, support organizations their safety efficiency and compliance with health and safety regulation and practices are consistently strengthened. In this way, they build healthy uh, working conditions that protect workers by eliminating health and safety threats or handling them better. Uh, next, the advantages, advantages by managing OSH. Uh, they help to develop healthy working conditions for the workers and their employees. Uh, to reduce accident and injury related costs, uh, employers save, uh, can save money on medical bills by pre injuries, uh, the salaries uh, of injured uh, staff, excess claims, substitute labor, and increased compensation benefits payment for workers, uh, enhancing business opportunities. Many companies have uh, preferential uh, pro procurement policies with which uh, favor the acquisition of products or services from OSH companies. Next uh, is uh, offering observer, observer, observable uh, systems to check the efficiency of OSH. Uh, then um, the advantages of managing OSH is uh, evidence that the company complies with, uh, with uh, legal requirements. And lastly, uh, it's improving the image of the company. Uh, then the elements of uh, a health and safety management system uh, the features of an effective effective OSH is top management engagement in the field of risk management uh, top management must demonstrate the OSH leadership and facilitate uh, staff participants in the creation and implementation of OSH to help the overall management structure of the company and the organization must have corporate uh, involvement and appropriate resources make the systems and processes of the OSH accessible to employees and always important of, for all business activities. Uh, ensure the OH SMSs are uh, politically uh, modified because the chance of OSH will uh, rise at uh, critical uh, seasons for example during restructure, uh, changes of products and services or changes of supplies. The OSH OSH management must be modified and adapted to all circumstances. Five step of an OSH management system. There can be five steps to an effective OSH management system, which from form a continuous improvement cycle as shown in the image. Uh, consultation is a crucial uh, element in every step of the process. Uh, first step is uh, top management commitment and policy. The strategy is a general purpose uh, plan that directs affects future decision. Uh, it is the basic for the creation of uh, observable uh, goals and OSS management. Uh, the second one is planning. Plan how OSS policy, uh, priorities and goals are enforced to define the risk uh, resulting from working activities so that risk can be measured and managed. The third one is implementation. Implement the strategy by establishing the requisite skills uh, and support structures for 
achieving OSS strategies, priorities and goals. Uh, the fourth one is measurement and evaluation. Measure, track and assess the performance of uh, OSS, uh, evaluate the efficiency of managing the risk and the take preventive and corrective measures if appropriate. Uh, the fifth one, which is the last one, is uh, review and improvement. Continuously, continuously uh, review and improve management to improve OSH performance. OSH uh, professionals will assist in creating relevant management. Next one is PPE training. Uh, it is the requirement of uh, OSH uh, Act. Uh, Part 6, Section 24, Duties of Employee 1C2 To wear or use at all times any protective equipment or clothing provided by the employer to prevent risk to safety and health As we can see here, uh, common PPE for uh, pump, petrol pump attendant Then application of PPE in every sector of manufacturing, injury can happen at any time if we do not alert to the surrounding. To, minif to minimize injury or uh, bad effect during accident wear, personal uh, protective equipment can help it. Safety boots, safety helmet, mask and a bag can avoid an employee get a minor major injury as they can protect the employee. Another one is in information at site boundary. Information to be contained in the site manifest is listed in part 6 under storage and handling of petroleum of the Act 302 Petroleum Safety Measures Act 1984. Such info information is mandated to assist patronize to manage an incident at, at the workplace. As we can see here, the, uh, the examples of the hazard uh, hazard signs on the petrol pump and the tanker. Thank you. That's all for me.